Okay, video three. So for video three, um, we need to talk about all our special angle pairs. So we have um, a lot of different angles here. And on the table shown, we need to name the special angle pairs. So you have to have those memorized. If you don't know them, memorize them. And state whether they're congruent or supplementary. You may assume that the lines look parallel, that lines that look parallel actually are parallel. So that would be this one and that one that one and that one. 4 and 15. 4 and 15. I think 75% of the class put corresponding angles. 4 is a corresponding angle with 7 and 4 is a corresponding angle with 12 and no others. So these two have no relationship at all. And uh, they look the same so they are the same so congruent. Okay, 5 and 16. So 5 and 16, here's 5, and here is 16. I got my parallel lines, and I got this transversal cruising through here. We can see that these are on the exterior of the parallel lines, on the outside, and they're on opposite sides. So those are alternate exterior angles. And if you don't have these memorized, you can research it online. There's great videos on Khan Academy about special angle pairs. But they are on the opposite side and they're on the outside. Okay, and let's see, do they look equal? Well, this one is acute and that one's acute, so yeah, they're congruent. Okay, uh, this is getting a little marked up for us. So the next one is 10 and 12. So 10 and 12. They are right across from each other and we have learned that those are called vertical I'll just write it out because this was misspelled a lot. Vertical angles, and hmm, they're both obtuse, so yes, they are the same. Basically with these, if they look the same, they are the same. If they look different, they're supplementary. Okay, two and seven, so two and seven. Now we're looking at these two parallel lines with this as the transversal. So you can see two and seven on, on the inside of these parallel lines, and they're on opposite sides. So they are on alternate interior angles, and since they look congruent, they are congruent. Okay, four and nine. Okay, so for four and nine, we have these two. They are on the inside of these two parallel lines, and on the same side. So these are same side interior angles. Ooh, but four is obtuse and nine is acute. So these ones are supplementary. Okay, three and four, we got three and four right next to each other. The angles that are next to each other have the name linear pair and they look different so they are Supplementary. Uh, one and six. One and six are on the exterior because they're not in between these parallel lines and they're on the same side. So some people put same side exterior angles, which isn't really one of them, but I didn't count it wrong if you did. These are none and they look different, so they are supplementary. Okay, we got through that part. I'm going to give the same set of instructions that I gave you with the uh, octagon. We did a great job drawing the equilateral triangle, most of us. But basically, if you don't know how to do it, um, it's real similar to a hexagon. Have someone show you, Google it, ask me. But basically, if, you're, if it has to be inscribed in a circle, some of us were confused as to what that meant. If it is inscribed in a circle, that means that it has to be in the circle and on the circle. So I'm not going to take the time to do it, but it's going to look something like this. And you have to use congruent circles in order to do it. Okay, if you just do an equilateral triangle over here, that's not good enough. Because if it's inscribed, its vertices are on the circle. Okay. Uh, go for that one on your own. Um, even though I'm not doing it in the video, still got to do it. Make sure you know how to do it. If you don't know how to do it, then ask.
Okay, uh, we are almost done. Um, five minutes in this video. I'm gonna do a whole nother video for this last page. So I'll stop this one and start another one and then we are almost done.